7425 push rods. I'm going to show you what I did here with the rockers. Because I'm using all stock junk. So what we did <clears throat> for the um, rockers, obviously I use stock rockers, and we drilled them, tapped the heads, and I just used a cap screw style uh, fastener. I think the norm's 10 mil or something like that, the thread, which is puny, but we just drilled the heads with a fixture, tapped them, helicoiled all of them, and then we drilled the rockers, which it's, it, it's a bit of a task to drill the rockers, but because of the trunnions hardened, but uh, yeah. And it's been going for, well, this will be seven years now on this motor. And the only thing we did to this motor was the valve springs and the cam, aside from porting the heads ourselves. So we'll carry on disassembling and see what it looks like inside. One thing I will point out, these head bolts have been used five times. So, as long as they torque up, pull up, I've been using them. And then just factory, factory head bolts. The reason I'm pulling the heads is that we're actually going to gap the rings. I had 11, almost 11 pounds of boost in this, uh, in the homicide over there. And uh, I figured we should actually check the ring gap because I didn't gap them for boost or nitrous application. I just, originally I just gapped them for naturally aspirated. Nothing fancy about this engine at all. This is a bone stock, went 930s and it's only, we got it to the track twice. So I figured we probably have squeaked it into the 8s, but before I had a couple more pounds of boost. Trying to work on the chassis or two at the same time, right? Because the car is brand new. So these things are pretty stout, these little LSs. I'm pretty impressed with them. Now, probably, you know, this motor's only going to take so many cycles before it pops, obviously, but I want to see how far it'll go. I'm curious. So. Now, these are 4 8 heads. Um, the reason I use these heads is because I got them for free. And the heads that were on this engine originally, this engine was in a fire in a truck and the valve seats actually dropped out from the heat. So I ended up using the valves from that engine and we cut them here, we did them ourselves, but we cut the seats, we widened them on the 4.8 to take these valves out of the six liter heads and they're ported. So they flow pretty good numbers. The compression's a bit high for a blower application, obviously, but whatever. We notched the pistons to clear the cam. And stock lifters as well. That's good. Not burnt. That's fucking bonus. So I'm gonna coat these pistons too before I actually set them back into the uh, into the block again. I'll show you one of our mess ups here. So like I said, this went 930s. Stock pistons. These are stock. Uh, we've cut them. Obviously, you can see we've cut them for intake clearance because the cam's a 650 lift. This one here. I don't know if you can see it, but that hole there, we, the guy that was cutting them with me, he ended up uh, cutting the wrong side. <laughs> he had the piston backwards when he cut it, but either way, we left it. We're like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's run it. And we ran it. So, got like pretty much nothing tied up in this short block. So, one other thing I was going to point out, I don't know what this uh, water pump's off. I'm not sure. I think it's a newer LS of some sort. I thought maybe it was Camaro because of the outlet positions out forward. Right, but I made my own um, thermostat, like so I could clock it my own way. Um, it's just a piece of flat uh, plate. Anyways, it worked good, so it's working. All right, <clears throat> blast some pistolas in. There's a skirt, on one of them. There's a little bit of the coating that's not flaked off on the sides, but not too bad. The rings are still intact. It almost looks like they're shiny on the ends. I can't really see. I'll take them off and inspect them to see if they actually bind over. They're just on the edge of the And there's the gutty works of the engine. I'll 
I'll check the mains later. And that's about as far as we're going to go today. Sorry, Chris. Chrissy Thompson. He's got that uh, Regal. I think he's got about $1.5 million in the engine, roughly. <laughs> I'm just bugging you, Chris. Chris is just learning with his car, and he's uh, doing really well, actually. Pretty smart kid. So, yeah. There you go. 930s, stock bottom end. Not super fast, but pretty quick. Hopefully we can go quicker with this before it lets go. And uh, yeah. It'll be a good year hopefully this year. Between me and Ron, and Chris, Tony, and this Camaro, and Manny. Hopefully I race Manny. I'm looking to race Manny, and I'd like to race George's home. Because they've got big dollar engines. We'll see what happens, guys.